it's actually weird the way that we do uh, language models right now where all of the uh, information is in the weights. Mm -hmm. And the human brain is not really like this. We have like a hippocampus and a memory system. So why don't LLMs have a memory system? And there's people working on them. I think future LLMs are going to be like smaller, but are going to run looping on themselves and are going to have retrieval systems. Mm -hmm. And the thing about using a retrieval system is you can cite sources explicitly. Mm. Which is uh, really helpful to integrate the human into the loop of the of the thing because you can go check the sources and you can investigate. So whenever the thing is hallucinating, you can like have the human supervision. So that's pushing it towards level two kind of. Driving. That's going to kill Google. Wait, which part? When someone makes an LLM that's capable of citing its sources, it will kill Google. LLM that's citing its sources because that's basically a search engine. Yeah. That's what people want in a search engine. But also Google might be the people that build it. Maybe. And put ads on it. I'd count them out. Why is that? Why do you think? Who who wins this uh, race? We got, who, who are the competitors? All right. We got Tiny Corp. I don't know if that's, yeah I, yeah, I mean, you're a legitimate competitor in that. I'm not trying to compete on that. You're not? No, not as a You can accidentally stumble into that competition. Maybe. You don't think you might build a search engine to replace Google search? When I started Comma, I said over and over again, I'm going to win self-driving cars. I still yeah. believe that. I have never said I'm going to win search with the tiny corp, and I'm never going to say that because I won't. The night is still young. We don't, you don't know how hard is it to win search in this new route. Like it's, it, it feels, I mean, one of the things that ChatGPT kind of shows that there could be a few interesting tricks oh, yeah. that really have, that create a really compelling product. Some startup's gonna figure it out. Yeah. I, I think I think if you ask me, like Google's still the number one web page. I think by the end of the decade, Google won't be the number one web page anymore. So you don't think Google, because of the how big the corporation is? Look, I, I would put a lot more money on Mark Zuckerberg. Why is that? Because Mark Zuckerberg's alive. Like, this is old Paul Graham essay. Startups are either alive or dead. Google's dead. <sighs> Facebook's Versus alive. Facebook is alive. Meta's well, actually, alive. Meta. Meta. You see what I mean? Like, that's just, like, like, like Mark Zuckerberg. This is Mark Zuckerberg reading that Paul Graham essay and being like, I'm going to show everyone how alive we are. I'm going to change the name. So you don't think there's this gutsy pivoting engine uh, that uh, like Google doesn't have that, the, the, the kind of engine that a startup has like constantly you know what? being alive, I guess. When I listen to your Sam Altman podcast, um, he talked about the button. Everyone who talks about AI talks about the button, the button to turn it off, right? Mm -hmm. Do we have a button to turn off Google? Is anybody in the world capable of shutting Google down? What does that mean exactly? The company or the, or the search engine? So we shut the search engine down. Can we shut the company down? Either. Can you elaborate on the, on the value of that question? Does Sundar like, Pashai have the authority to turn off Google.com tomorrow? Who has the authority? That's a good question, Does right? anyone? Does anyone? Yeah, I'm sure. Are you sure? No, they have the technical power, but do they have the authority? Let's say Sundar Pashai made this his sole mission. Yeah. Came into Google tomorrow and said, I'm going to shut Google.com down. Yeah. I don't think he'd keep his position too long. And what is the mechanism by which he wouldn't keep his position? Well, the boards and shares and corporate undermining and, oh my God, our revenue is zero now. Okay. So what, I mean, what's the case you're making here? So the, the capitalist machine prevents you from mm -hmm. having the button. Yeah. And okay. it will have, a, I mean, this is true for the AIs too, right? There's no turning the AIs off. There's no button. You can't press it. Now, does Mark Zuckerberg have that button for Facebook.com? Yes, probably more. I think he does. I think yeah. he does. And this is exactly what I mean and why I bet on him so much more than I bet on Google. I guess you could say Elon has similar stuff. Oh, Elon has the button. Yeah. <laughs> Elon. Does Elon, can Elon fire the missiles? Can he fire the missiles? I think some questions are better left <laughs> un unasked. <laughs> right? I mean, you know, a rocket and an ICBM, well, you're a rocket that can land anywhere. Isn't that an ICBM? Well, yeah, you know, don't ask too many questions. My God. Uh, <laughs> but the the positive side of the button is that you can innovate aggressively, is what you're saying, is what, which is what's required with uh, turning LLM into a search engine. I would bet on a startup. I'd bet on- Because it's so easy, right? I'd bet on something that looks like mid-journey, but for search. Just- is able to cite sources loop on itself. I mean, it just feels like one model can take off. Yeah. 
right? And nice wrapper. And some of it scale. I mean, it's hard to uh, like create a product that just works really nicely, stably. The other thing that's going to be cool is there is some aspect of a winner take all effect, right? Like once um, someone starts deploying a product that gets a lot of usage, and you see this with OpenAI, uh, they are going to get the data set to train future versions of the model. Yeah. Um, they are going to be able to, right? Uh, you know, I was asked at Google Image Search when I worked there like almost 15 years ago now. How does Google know which image is an Apple? And I said, the metadata. And they're like, yeah, that works about half the time. How does Google know? You'll see they're all apples on the front page when you search Apple. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, I didn't come up with the answer. The guy's like, well, it's what people click on when they search Apple. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that data is really, really powerful. It's the human supervision. 